Hello, I am Isabella Jane. And I am Rosie. That is right. Why are we here? Well, we're going to cook. You cook? Yes, Rosie, I'm, I'm going to cook. You know, you, you got to eat. And why am I wearing an apron? I don't like changing. Yeah, but I don't want you to get messed. Well, Bella, what are you going to cook? We're going to cook pizza pies. Pizza pies? That's exciting. All you really need are a few ingredients. We've got them right here. We're going to use puff pastry because it's a pie. Yes, tomato pasta sauce, and chorizo sausage, mozzarella cheese, salt, and we are using sweet basil today, but you can use any Italian herbs. What other herbs? can you use? Can you use Indian spices? You can if you want to, really depends what flavor you want to do. But today we are doing chorizo and mozzarella. That's just what we're going to do. Okay. Well, we start with our simple puff pastry. We start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Yes. And we get some tomato sauce. Pop it there. Smidge it on. Like a real chef? Yes. Take some chorizo sausage. Pop it there some cheese. You can put as much cheese as you want. I'm not putting too much because I have to fold it over later, you'll see. Then we want to flavor it. With our spices. Yes, maybe. Some salt and some basil. It's really all to your taste. I wouldn't do too much because it's small. And then a little trick. We're going to fold it over to make the pastry stick. I'm going to just use some water and just put it around the edges. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over do that. Make sure it's even. I'm trying. And we squish it down nice and hard. It smells nice. Yeah, but you can't even smell. No, I can't. Then we're going to take this paper off. We fold it. And then take your fork. Put it in the flour. This is going to be like a real Snow White moment when she makes that beautiful apple pie. She just gives it that Disney finish. Disney finishes are important. Yes, they are. Then what we're going to do so that the pole pie, pizza pie doesn't explode. That would be fun. It would be, but we're going to take a knife and please use with caution. Yeah, please. Yes, and we're going to stab it. From our producers of the show, we have to do another step. I'm going to have to crack an egg, so... Isn't that awkward? Yes, I'm sorry. It's so awkward. We're going to take our egg, our final ingredient. Really, it's so simple. Even I can do it. Crack your egg. Pop it in there, safely dispose of the egg. Do that, take your fork, same fork that you used, it's fine. Whisk your egg. Fab. Then we're gonna take this fancy little brush, we're going to hold it in there, and basically all this does is makes it pretty. There we go. I it nice. Thank you. Pop that in. And now we're going to brush them all with some egg. And again, this is to give it a pretty shiny look and help with the crispiness. But it makes it look golden brown. Exactly. So this is also going to be a good indication of when they are cooked, because this will bring out the golden brown, which is... When you should take it out of the oven. Exactly. This is all we really need to do. And guys, we are now going to put this in the oven. Remember, it's at 180 degrees Celsius, um, or I don't know what Fahrenheit that would be. Sorry, guys, just do Celsius. Yes. Rosie, do you know why we put flour on the pan? I know. Tell everyone. So that they don't stick. No one likes a sticky pizza pie. And yeah, we'll put this in for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Like what, five, six, maybe seven ingredients. Don't get burnt, kids. Oh. This pastry is very puffy. And yeah, we're, we're gonna do this. We're, we're gonna see what it turned out like, guys. <gasps> we made a pizza pie! I have to show Rosie. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Rosie? Yes. We made a pizza pie! Yes, we did! Look at that, so cheesy! It smells so good! But you can't smell. No, I can't. But guys, this was really easy to make, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you can do it... So can you. 